Hi, I'm Stephen and welcome back to Wedding Kitchen. Today I'm joined by Rebecca, the editor of the Yes I Do website. Hey, thanks for having us along today, Stephen. Talk us through it. What are you cooking for us today? Well, today we've got two different menus on two different styles of settings, so we're going to have lots of fun with that. Can't wait. Take us through it, Stephen. Okay. Here I have um, a smoked salmon, which I have uh, stuffed with fresh crab meat, which I've bound with mayonnaise and some seasoning. And um, we're going to be using that um, on the main plate here. So I have some avocado oil, which I'm going to put just a little drizzle on top. And the reason I'm doing this is, is that the taste is really great with the salmon. But also, with a little brush, it adds a wonderful sheen to the smoked salmon. Now Stephen, I've seen that you've used avocado oil. If we didn't have avocado oil at home, we're making this dish, can we use a substitute? Yes, olive oil would be great, or any oil that's tasty. I mean, you could use a nut oil, for example. But, you know, it, with this smoked salmon is already quite strong, so you're trying to complement it with something. So something that doesn't take the taste away. Well, that's right. And not, not, you wouldn't use sesame oil, for example, because it would be too overpowering. Mm -hmm. And I've got some cucumber slices here, very thin, which I'm just going to place around the plate, like so. So basically I've got that there, and now we're going to do a couple more things on here, just to make it just a bit more colour and a bit more taste. So I've got a cutter here, this is a little olive cutter, and this one's scooped, so I'm just taking some little, uh, little um, mango scoops, which add a lot more colour and another, another variation to the dish as well. Now Stephen, I see that we're using mango today, but we could use another fruit, could we? You can use many things. You can use avocado, you could use papaya, you could use anything to complement this dish. You don't, you don't even have to use them, but we're just trying to make this one a little bit more interesting. And then to add another variation, another level, and make it a little bit more decadent, we've got two forms of caviar. This is salmon caviar, which is the row of the salmon. And once again, I'm just going to get two little spoons like this, and we're quenelling it, which is just basically taking the spoons like this and just twisting them like that until you get a shape. And we put a little bit of the salmon caviar on there. And then I'm going to take... And this is the real McCoy. This is real sturgeon caviar. This is from Germany, from a salmon farm. And a little bit of the real caviar. And then just to finish off the dish, just a little sprig of dill. And thanks for inviting us here today, Stephen. This certainly is a beautiful dish to start any formal wedding and certainly a beautiful centrepiece. What do you have for us uh, next time on the show? Well, to go with this dish is going to be a venison with um, a stack, a vegetable stack, which is great and it complements this dish. So we look forward to seeing you to see the next part of the menu.